Y'all welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. In my last video I mentioned that I was going to design me a knife to go on my side. We're going to not really make an in-depth how to make a knife video. I'm just going to show you, try to make a short video on getting this knife made. Uh, I won't finish it today, it's Sunday afternoon, so I'm going to work on it a little while, try to get the bait, blade beat out flat. Uh, with these lawnmower blades, you can't just, it's not shaped just right just to beat it completely out and then be done with it. So once I get it basically beat flat and then I'll draw the blade edge out some, then I'll probably finish it out grinding it down like I want it. Uh, now however we will forge us a, a bolster to put on it. Uh, we don't want a huge bolster because we want this to be a compact, comfortable knife that we can wear all hunting season. And uh, maybe it'll be on my quest to find the ultimate knife that I really fall in love with that I carry from now on. Uh, I've made several, but none of them's really... I like all of them. I've got one that I favor a little more than the other ones, but just none of them have really fit the bill to do exactly what I want to do with. So we're working on that. Hang with us. And by the way, I'm beating out another... Uh, this is a piece of old spring, really off of a... Uh, I think come off of an old wagon, but it's a, a leaf spring, short, real good steel. Um, and we're going to make another big bowie knife out of it that's going to be really good steel. And uh, we may put it up for sale before it's over with, but we'll finish it in another video.
this is pine pitch. And this is what we're going to use to epoxy. It's mixed with, uh, I don't have any beeswax in this because I'm not trying to keep it flexible. I need something to hold this upright. But it's charcoal or coal char material like from out of the fire. There's two methods to darkening this handle. You can do it with this torch. You see how that's darkening? Or you can put varnish on it or like a stain. But you see how pretty that turns when you add some heat to it? There's plenty of recipes online on making that pitch glue. If somebody wants to see me show how to make that, let me know. I'll do a video on it. I don't mind doing one, but there are a lot of them out there. But I just wanted this knife to be more all natural is the reason for doing this. Just get away from epoxies and store-bought stuff. And anywhere right now that that gets that you don't want it, you can about cut off with a knife or something. So it's not like epoxy that once it's there, you can't do nothing with it. I can heat this back up and, and move it around. See how I got it right here on this and it just pops off. Now, I am going to pin this handle. Once this sets up and it's solid, but guys, that looks pretty good so far. This is one eighth brass brazen rod. I, th I don't know if I showed this in any of the other videos or not, but I'm going to show it in this one anyway. Whether I did or didn't. But that pine pitch is not like epoxy. It's not going to grip and hold and be guaranteed from now on, okay? It will hold this steady. That's, that's on there. That ain't coming off. You can't pull it off. 
But if it gets hot or it gets whatever, it'll melt, it'll come off. You can, it's sort of like hot glue. You can heat this up, pull that back off. So what we're going to do is we're going to pin it. Oh. And I probably don't pin it like everybody else. And I don't have everything lined up just perfect on this knife, but now. But anyway, all right. So with a one-eighth brass rod, I've got a one-eighth drill bit. I did not want to drill a hole in my table. I don't know why. It didn't matter. Okay. One end is bowed just a little bit. We're going to have to resort to the old hammer. Okay, it is protruding a little bit. We'll cut it off as close as we can cut it with these. And then I'll show you how you fix this. Lay this on this anvil. Y'all, that's a good looking knife. That's the one that I'm going to toot, I think. We're going to see how it performs. But I think that's the one that I'm going to like. We'll see how it holds up. I'm going to probably put something on this butt back here eventually, but I don't know what yet. But I designed that for my left hand. I want to wear it right there. And I like a big knife. I know a lot of people are going to say, that's too big for a bushcraft knife. Survival knife, but. We'll see how well it holds an edge and all. But anyway, thank y'all for watching a little bit of forging knife building. We tried to make a little short video on it. Y'all have a good one. We'll see y'all next time on Spirit of the Outdoors.